Welcome back, guys, back to Turtle Tech. This is just a nice little channel where I talk about little fun tech things that I found. Hopefully you guys will find it interesting as well. And today, we're going to set up um, these nice uh, terminal icons for Ubuntu. So, um, stick around. Be sure to like and subscribe before we get going. And um, if you guys remember from our previous video, and if you haven't seen the previous video, I'll link it here. Um, we set up this nice terminal icon thing for um, our PowerShell, which is, uh, you know, uh, something that is kind of just a quality of life improvement makes things look nice. So if I open PowerShell here and hit directory, you can see we have all these icons for the file types. And it's just kind of lets you know aesthetically and like visually what type of file types you have. And it's really nice, but we haven't set this up for Ubuntu yet. So we're going to do that today. So let's go over to Ubuntu, open Ubuntu in the window, we can close PowerShell. And uh, you know, the typical way to look around files is ls in Ubuntu or any Linux system is like ls or lslrt, which is just gives you, you know, permission information and date create and stuff like that. Um, but we want to install um, basically these uh, nice terminal icons for uh, um, Ubuntu. So we're going to go over here, which is our GitHub page. And this GitHub is a public repo by Yashanda, so be sure to give him a like. Um, and it's called Logo LS. So we're going to go over here, go to Releases, go here and find the asset that we want. So now we need to know the architecture for our Ubuntu. So let's go back to the bash. We're going to type uname-m, and that's going to get our architecture. So we're x86-64. We're going to download that one. Uh, download here. I already downloaded it, so it's in my downloads. And remember that this is downloading to your Windows system. So I have a dual operating system, Linux, but our main system is Windows, so downloading it to Windows. So I have to actually move it to our uh, main directory in Ubuntu, which is slash home slash to C. So let's copy that. We're going to go to the Windows system, slash MNT, slash C drive, users, username, downloads, that tar file, and we're going to copy it to slash home slash to C should be there now and now we're going to unzip this file so we're going to do tar dash xzf uh, that tar file and should unzip it yep and now we have that there so we're going to cd into that location and what we're going to do is we're going to do a pseudo copy of logo dash ls to slash user slash local slash bin this is super do so we need a password and if we go to that location now, you'll see that the binary is installed and you will have access to that command there. Now we can run logo-ls and we have a nice, you know, terminal icon. So let's go back to our main system and we can do something like logo-ls-a for everything and this will show you all the hidden files as well. Now, keep in mind that this is um, only renderable if you have nerd fonts installed. So we installed nerd fonts earlier, so to do that, you can go to settings and um, go to your Ubuntu profile and go down here to appearance. And right here is font face. Uh, we select, select Cascadia Cove NF, which is the nerd font I have installed. If you don't remember how to do that, go back to the other video and watch it. But you can also find the nerd fonts here at nerdfonts.com and go to downloads and you'll find all of it here and any nerd font you want. Uh, additionally, you can also edit the JSON file in your profile and just make sure that nerd font is enabled. And right here I have it enabled for PowerShell, and right here I have it enabled for my Ubuntu. Yeah, so if you guys um, like this, um, you can see all these nice little icons. It's very simple, very simple, very quick. Um, be sure to share with your friends, and yeah, thank you for your time.